I'm Tory King Nugent. Sometimes big truck wrecks can result in big case settlements. These are actual client results. Some people be putting haircuts on YouTube. This much for your case, so when you call me, they do more. They tell you. Watch your work long and see what. Uh huh. If you've been hurt by a big truck, call me. They do more talking than they do cutting. If you've been hurt by a big truck, call me. Call one eight hundred. Call Ken. One eight hundred. Call Ken. That, that one reputation we got killed at Marvel. Talking too much. Uh, Did your ex cheat on you and cost you money? Mm -hmm. Call one eight seven seven Joe's Law or visit JudgeJoeBrown.com. Now, one question of you, young man: Did you ever operate this vehicle? Yes, sir. When? Um, April the sixth. And were you coming or going from the trip? We were coming from eating. What? We were on our way back to the condo. I think all of you were up to something that we're not hearing about. But you get your 1800 sir, and your calls. Your vehicle was totaled out. And I hope nobody got too badly hurt. No soft tissue injury whiplash situations occurred. 1800 and may I suggest and I'll call you this young man you have a talk with your daughter because I'm considerably older than you are so be it the program is now in recess four to five in the Camry five to ten in the condo the only car in the Require a serious law firm. Put experience on your side. Fox Monday, Dr. Grace Devlin's secret lie. I'm not resorting to murder. Is about to unravel. Grace! The Mob Doctor, Monday night at 9 on Fox 5. A wedding cake catastrophe. It was gummy. It tasted undercooked. Why'd you go to serve soup? At the time, I was unemployed. You wanted a bargain. All rise for Judge Joe Brown. You experience knowledge and a passion for the truth. Protecting womanhood and promoting manhood. Bringing no-nonsense justice to Americans everywhere. If you listen, you might learn something. Bride, you're so Miss Truman and Miss Clark. Yeah. Students at a 
culinary arts. You say you patronized the school and you wanted them to make a wedding cake for you and you were very dissatisfied. You want your money back and some associated damages. Yes, that's correct. You say uh, you did a very adequate job. You used the cake as a project and apparently your instructor said you did a good job. The recipe you used was supplied by the plaintiff, you allege. I believe she supposedly chose a Paula Dean recipe for the cake. And it was a red velvet cake. Is that correct? Yes, Your Honor. Okay, let's see where we go with this. Mrs. McBride, you were going to have a wedding, and you had it, what, May 26th this year? Yes, that's correct. Everything looked great at the wedding, you say, but the cake. That's yes. what you're saying. That's the cake? That's the cake. All right. Now, what's wrong with the cake? Uh, starting with the cake. Completely different from what we grew up on in terms of the lettering was crooked. The little bits that you see lining the cake, they were actually not adhered to the cake. So when my husband and I went to go cake it, cut the cake.
tried to work out the work with him because he was a friend of a friend and we really wanted him to stay in our unit. They wanted to stay for three years. However, that clearly didn't work out. It's go time after this. Uh, that was up, man. You know what I mean? Is he Bad ball the time. <laughs>